When I was working at the treatment centers in Baltimore and working with people who really this was the end for them, they, they were down and out. What we would help them with is having people that we called PSAs and these were your program service assistants. One of the nice things about a PSA is the PSA was a person who had already gone through the program. They were somebody who months earlier was out in the streets, their life was in shambles, didn't love themselves, had no self-respect, came in, they went through the program, they're not using uh, the substances, they're trying to get their lives back together. And one of the things that they're doing to help get their lives back together is by helping others. It's where what they're saying is, you know, I'm giving back. I'm, so in helping somebody else, I gain help. Now I would say for myself, I've learned that over the years as well. You know, the more that I can help somebody, they can also then teach me something about myself and, and then hopefully I grow in the process. So you have this PSA who would roam the buildings and just make sure, you know, is everybody in group where they're supposed to be? Are they, um, you know, getting their meals? They were really our eyes and ears. You know, a lot of times you'd have a PSA would come to one of the counselors and say, you know, I kind of heard so-and-so talking, whatever, and it's kind of worrying me. Or, you know, so-and-so seemed happy yesterday, they don't seem happy today. And that's the cue for us to maybe call in that person and say, hey, everything okay, what's happening? But we had the eyes and ears out there. But they looked at that as being integral to somebody else's recovery. I looked at them as being integral to the whole program. In the end, we all win because it's another person helping another person who's been there. I don't think we all have to have been there to help somebody get out of whatever the there is. But I do think it's very important that somebody can sympathize with another, that somebody can try to learn what's going on with another. And that's really what the PSAs were about. So for me, what I try to do today is in uh, my life coaching and in my counseling, I'm trying to also act as a, a PSA. It's, you know, try to be in this similar sense of, of saying, you know, I, I, I want to get a little bit deeper. I, I want to understand what you're really going through and saying, not just on that surface level. And I, I want to be the one who maybe notices when you come in to see me again that you're maybe not as up as you have been in the past. And so what's going on? But I think what helps that we can take away from this is to see somebody that has been there, whose life was in shambles, now is helping others get out of that. That really says a lot about hope, about change, about the possibility that our lives can be better. Because not only were their lives better, but they were better to a point that they could then share and help with another person.